Okay, so the first thing we have to do to transfer that, uh, number one, I want to name my model. I don't want it to be named Poly Surface 2 here. So if I click here, I'll name it something uh, static mesh, so a mess uh, underscore prop prop trash can. Uh, I'm going to call it low low for low poly. And I go just to copy this one and okay, name this one now. Press V, Ctrl V to paste. And this one's high. That's my high poly. I'm also going to delete my history because as you can see I got a lot of stuff here. So I'm going to edit, delete all by type history. Okay. Uh, so to transfer the details from this model to this one. Uh, number one, we want to make sure that our models are at the origin of the grid. So I'm going to select this object and to move stuff to the origin of the grid. Uh, make sure this you can see this area right here. Okay, it's the absolute transform. And select the object and type zero 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 and press enter. And it's going down there. Okay, now I'm going to modify freeze transformations. So my transformations here is all zero, scales one. Now I'm going to move this one. I'm going to do the same thing. Just enter and freeze transformations. Okay. So now the model is exactly on top. They're uh, overlapping each other, which is what we want. When you want, when you're going to bake. Uh, the details from the high to the low poly they have to be on top of each other and this is the case even if you're doing this with another software okay so now we have to bake uh, that's what the process is called uh, you bake a normal map onto the low poly so I'm going to uh, we're going to switch from our polygons tool set to uh, rendering and we're going to lighting and shading menu and go to transfer maps and we're going to have this right here I'm going to reset everything so yours should look exactly like this one so first what this menu allows is for us to bake uh, different types really not just a normal map uh, but other types as well and actually, since we're going to be using Dedu to uh, texture the model, I actually want to uh, also bake a diffuse map, which is going to be the color map. So what I'm going to do is, let me move this model just for now. And to this one, I'm going to apply a new material. So I'm going to hold down, right click, uh, go down where it says assign new material. Now, it doesn't really matter what it is, I'm just going to choose Lambert. It's going to open up this. Click on that Lambert. And all I'm going to do is just click on color and just select some random color. I'll select like a yellow. Okay. And that's all we have to do. So now click that model. And to get it back to place, you can go ahead and do that again. Or just use the uh, channel box here, where you can say, we can, as you can see, there's a transform here for translate. If you type zero there, it should go back two bits. Okay, so now we can go to the lighting uh, and shading menu and transfer maps. So the first thing we have to do is tell Maya uh, what the target mesh is. In this case, uh, the target mesh meaning the, uh, the low poly where all the details go into. So select the low poly and how do we know we have the low poly selected as you can see right here I clicked on it and we can see that I got the low poly selected sometimes it may be a bit difficult to select the one you want because you have an overlapping but if you name them you know which one you're selecting so add selected and the low poly one is right here so for the sources mesh we want the high poly selected so I have the high poly selected as you can see here. So add that one. 
and now we get to choose what exactly we're going to transfer from the high poly to the low poly. So as I said before, I want to transfer a normal map, which means the detail uh, of the high poly to the low poly. And I also want to transfer the color, which is the yellow, to the low poly. So I'm going to click normal. And you have, you get a choice here where you want to save your, mo uh, your map. I'm going to choose the desktop for now. And choose the name. I'm just going to call it. Uh, trash can normal okay I also want to make sure this my file type is a targa file and everything else should be fine it's a tangent space yes and I want to choose a color map also known as diffuse and again you can choose by clicking on the folder where you want to save it So this one's going to be trash can diffuse. Actually, just going to make tar trash can color. Okay. Again, make sure it's a targa file, and everything else should be fine. You can also choose uh, for Maya to create a new material and assign everything to the low poly, which is what I want in this case. So that way you can see it working in Maya. So yes, to this the Maya common output uh, you can select the size of the map in this case I'm going to set it to a 512 I wouldn't go higher for this uh, it's just a trash can so it wouldn't be too detailed uh, even 512 may be a bit high uh, for the mental ray common output same thing 512 Oops. okay and finally go to the advanced options and I'm going to leave this closest to the envelope. Uh, I'm going to switch my match using from geometry normals to surface normals. I found that I got a better result for this. Sometimes you have to switch uh, between those two, depending on how the normal map looks. Also, we have to have an envelope for the uh, that's going to tell Maya where to bake stuff or how to bake stuff so to see the envelope uh, click here on the display envelope and it displays as a red mesh on top of everything else so what we want to make sure is that the envelope covers everything that everything is inside it um, so in this case I think these pieces are outside the envelope uh, the top seems to be outside so I want to change that by increasing the size set it to 1 so as you can see, I just set it to 1 and it's uh, already covering everything. So again, you can do that. But don't get it too big like this. Because uh, then the bake is not, it's not going to be very accurate. So I'm going to set it to 1.1. should be fine. I'll set it to 1.1. And if we have problems, we can uh, try something different. Okay, so that should be fine. Let me go back to the normal display so I don't have to see the envelope. Also, make sure that this is not checked. I want to keep my envelope. I want it to be deleted. Uh, before you do this, make sure you save your file. Just in case, you never know. So, everything seems to check. Uh, and if everything works fine, the normal map all should transfer and look perfectly fine. So hit bake. Don't hit bake and close just in case you have to do uh, something different. So just click where it says bake. Okay, so now that we baked it, I'm going to minimize that window. And now we're going to move my low poly to the side so we, we can see what happened. So as you can see right away, um, there are no changes because we're not looking at it uh, in the right uh, mode here. So I'm going to press 6 so I can see the texture. As you can see, it did transfer the diffuse. So now this guy is yellow. It may not be exactly... I, I think it's the same yellow, but uh, that, that doesn't really matter for now. 
so to see the details we have to be working on the uh, rendered either the 2.0 or the high quality render let's choose high quality render so that we can see now how our details were transferred to the low poly and as you can see it overall it kind of did as you can see we have the, the indent here um, from the high poly to the low poly we have the top which um, doesn't look looks kind of jagged here but again that that sometimes has to do with the size of your map uh, I think a 512 was fine I don't think especially once you have a texture on it it's not gonna be that noticeable you have this guy here as you can see we kind of have these guys here that kind of dark um, sometimes that has to do with the uh, with the envelope, sometimes it has to do with, uh, with maybe the shape. Kind of, uh, yeah, it went slightly different than the low poly one. If it's slightly different, then you're gonna get something like that. Which is why I said, make sure a high poly stays pretty the same. Uh, it stays the same as far as the silhouette. I may have moved it a match or so, maybe. Which is why we can have that. Sometimes it also has to do with the uh, with the UVs, but as you can see, overall it did transfer most of the detail that we actually wanted. So that's pretty much how you uh, you can transfer the high poly detail to the low poly. As you can see, our poly counts a lot lower than this. But for now, if you all you wanted to learn was to model it and transfer the details to the low poly and then we're pretty much set um, for everyone else stay tuned uh, for the next part where I'm going to show you how to texture the model using uh, dedo uh, within Photoshop okay <laughs>